Okay guys, Dr. Truesdale here, and today we are going to review lasers for skin of color. This is gonna be a very brief introduction because I can go on and on and on. In fact, I tried to record this video before and it literally was like 20 minutes long. So we're gonna keep it simple and smart today and short. I'm sure if you are a person of color, or maybe if you're, you are not, you have heard that lasers are not safe for your skin. And there is some truth to that. It's all about the type of laser and the type of setting used for your skin. Now, what are we trying to do with a laser? We are trying to resurface the skin and make the skin look better. Whether you're black, Asian, Latino, right? All of us, even white people have pigment in their skin, and that pigment is melanin. So when we're thinking about not causing damage to the skin, for skin of color, melanin is of extreme importance because if we lay down too much pigment after a laser treatment, it can cause the skin to become hyperpigmented, right? Burned, dark, or hypopigmented where you're losing color or scarred. So we want to make sure we're treating the skin with the right amount of energy, the right wavelength, and the right settings, okay? So what is melanin? Melanin is the pigment that is found in the skin. The dark of the skin, typically more melanin present and being expressed. Now, we rate the amount of melanin in the skin on a visual scale. This scale is called the Fitzpatrick scale, and it goes from one to six. Now, typically, the higher you are up on that scale, the more melanin you have on your skin, and the more we need to be cautious about lasers, because some lasers are indeed not safe for darker skin types. Now, why aren't they? And the reason why is that laser that might be used is stimulating or damaging the melanin areas of the skin. So we can avoid those melanated areas of the skin by choosing a laser that has a longer wavelength. That longer wavelength can bypass basically traveling deeper into the skin, the area of the skin that contains the melanin, which tends to be higher up, more superficial in the skin. So certain lasers like a 532 nanometer laser are great for targeting pigments and vascularity. Those tend to be a little bit higher up. But if we use a laser that targets that in skin of color, it can tend to lead to hyperpigmentation because those cells, the melanocytes, start pumping out too much basically melanin in response to those lasers. Too much light energy is being absorbed. Now, the second thing that can happen is if there's too much heat or thermal injury that's being applied to the skin, then the skin can't recover. And that can lead to burning and also damage to this melanated areas of the skin. So we want to use a laser that both has a, an appropriate wavelength, typically a little bit longer, and the energy is a little bit more controlled or cooler, right? So that that energy doesn't cause the skin to just vaporize, right? So we want to make sure that there's a good balance. The laser that I love for skin of color is something called the ultra clear laser. The ultra clear laser is a laser that has a longer wavelength, it is also a cool laser, meaning that it's not gonna cause that type of vascular injury. So there are three considerations that I want to think about when I'm thinking about a laser for skin of color. The first is the wavelength. I want the wavelength to be something like a 1064 nanometers or potentially a 2910 nanometers. These type of lasers, like an ND YAG type laser, can have a wavelength that bypasses the area of melanin. The second thing that I'm looking for is a non-ablative and a fractionated type of laser. Non-ablative means that we are not vaporizing and damaging too much of the tissue, and fractionated means that the laser beams are coming down in columns, meaning that the surrounding area of the skin that is untreated can rejuvenate the areas and send in new fresh cells to basically fill in the areas that were treated with the laser. Now, the third thing is the pulse duration and the energy itself, the cooling. If the pulse duration is shorter, meaning the amount of time that the skin is being treated with the laser, then that's less likely to cause damage to the melanated cells. So a perfect laser for skin of color is one that has an appropriate wavelength, a little bit longer, one that bypasses the area of pigment, or melanin, one that is not ablative and is fractionated, and one that is cool with a very short pulse duration. If we can achieve those three things, then we can apply a laser to skin of color and have less cause of concern 
for hyper hypopigmentation as well as scarring. So in my clinic, we will treat all skin types with lasers. It's important to make sure that we are pre-treating the skin or doing a test spot with a laser to make sure that that energy is not going to cause too much of a damage. Now, we pre-treat the skin sometimes with things like hydroquinone or kojic acid to decrease the amount of melanin that the cells are producing. That is because when we inevitably are treating the skin with that light energy, we want the skin to be calm. We don't want it to start pumping out too much pigment, right? We don't want to cause damage. The second thing that we're going to do around the time of the procedure is we're going to apply cooling. We're going to make sure that the skin is hydrated, is moist. And then after surgery, we're going to avoid the sun because the sun basically causes the cells to lay down pigment, lay down melanin. So if you've ever gone tanning, that's what's happening. The sun is saying, hey, melanocytes, start producing pigment. And so we want to make sure we're doing good sun avoidance after any laser. So we reviewed skin of color and laser treatment safety today. If you've had questions, if you've thought, hey, lasers aren't safe for me because I'm black or I'm Latino or I'm Asian, or maybe I'm just a little bit olive complected, that is not true. There is a laser out there for you, but we do need to be judicious, we need to be safe, and we need to understand the type of treatment options that are safe and appropriate and settings for your skin. Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about laser safety today and I'm happy to treat you if you are interested in a laser treatment and you have skin of color.